Yes guys, what is going on and welcome back to the channel. It's all in Yorkshire, so day two, I repeat, day two of coming out by myself back to the solo audits. I know a lot of people keep requesting I come back out on my own. Um, a lot of people think I've lost my bottle and uh, they, they, they don't think I can do it anymore without uh, people holding my hand um, and to be honest with you guys I'm gonna be honest with you you know I've been out that many times uh, over the past year I've been out so many times with so many people you know Ryan Josh and Marty it's only a camera the Gwent Auditor West Audit Report uh, don't get me wrong all, all these guys are brilliant lads uh, but I do need to get back out there um, by myself, and I did yesterday. So went to Skipton Castle to start off there to do a blog. Turned into an audit. I got that old air Wi-Fi back. So um, it's day two at Snagill Industrial Estate in Skipton. Uh, so the first place we're going to be going is a stationary factory which is a little bit further up the road so I'll bring it back to you and I'll explain what I've got in my hand when we get up there right guys so the first place we're visiting this morning is Boss Stationery and Supplies now Boss Stationery has been a trusted source of online office supplies and stationery since 2007 with thousands of satisfied customers throughout the region we have real people you can talk to, helpful telephone assistance when you need it, and huge discounts on our entire range of office products. Our heroic team of stationers, um, we may have invite, <laughs> invented that word ourselves, supply hundreds of businesses in Yorkshire, Lancashire and the UK with everything they need from office supplies, uh, office furniture, to paper sharpies uh, and essential janitorial supplies to affordable ink and toners. Uh, Boss can do it all and they pride themselves on next day deliveries for a huge range of products and of course outstanding customer service. Um, our core belief is that customers should always be number one. We don't bombard them with sales calls or annoying adverts, instead we employ uh, empower sorry businesses to take charge of their own stationary orders by making everything easier so just go online for a free quote at bus furniture suppliers and stationery right so we are up in this little retail unit there's multiple businesses here, uh, so let's find Boss. I and mean, I'm going to show you what I've got in my hands. Ah, we found it. So it's actually connected to other different businesses. Right. Right, what we've got here, guys, right, is we've got, I'll just pull my camera down. If any staff would like milkshakes, put your order in. Yeah, I love it. I'll have a strawberry one. So, this is just a, a stupid chart, what I've made up. Um, so we've got company's name, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got enough spaces for seven businesses. We've got company's name, company's location, cleanliness of the site, site security, site safety, attitude of the staff, pass or fail. And what I hope we do, company's name and location, and then we can just put either max out of 10. So cleanliness, 10 out of 10, site security. We could put some notes in like um, unsecure, site safety, um, dangerous, or one out of 10, something like that. Um, attitude of anyone who approaches us, and then whether that company passes or fails. 
So I thought this would be a little fun little thing to do. And it obviously gets people, um, puts people on edge of it as well, I'd say. Walking around with a clipboard. So, let's see what we can do. So, first company, it's only a little one, but there's quite a few around here. But this is just a little one. So, we'll start. Yeah. Start off here and I'll give you an example, alright? So, let's come to boss. This is the electricity. Which is it, Snare Gill? Industrial. Just uh, uh, cleanliness. Got shutter, driveway's clear, a little patch of grass is clear, that bit's clear, it's not perfect, you've got bits of weed, bits of rubbish, well not rubbish but you know just bits of wood, bits of dirt, looks like it could do with a bit of a clean, bit of a jet down, and, uh, and, and, and all these weeds pulling out. So uh, there's no one in there, I don't think. Uh, what's it like on the inside? Let's have a look. Yeah. Could do with a little bit of an over up. Mm. Business package, certificate of employers liability insurance. That's good. Window frames could do with a bit of a clean, bit of a duster. So, I'm just giving you an example here, guys. Just giving you an example. So, cleanliness, I'm going to give it. Uh, what should we give it? Four and a half. Yeah. So we'll give it a four and a half out of ten. Site security. Doors are unlocked. The inner door is unlocked. So site security is, uh, is zero out of ten. And site safety. It's pretty safe. It's pretty safe. Just going by what I can see out here, I'll give it a seven. Seven for safety. Attitude. Well, it's a bit hard, a bit hard to get an attitude out of uh, bricks and mortar, steel. Uh, so we're gonna have to give that one a pass, I'm afraid. Oh, N-A, N-A, not applicable, pass or fail, so what do we reckon guys, is it passed or is it failed? Oh. Considering no one's come out to speak to us, and we don't know what kind of interaction we get. Um, the site security and safety is a bit crap, cleanliness is not too good. I think we're going to have to give this place a fail, guys. A big, fat F. You know what I mean? So... Let's see what else we've got about. Field. That's the shop. Well, that's probably right away. So you can actually get from this industrial park, you can get back out onto the main road. That's pretty cool.
We get to shop. <clears throat> oh, it's a pie shop. How much have I? £1.90 for a pork pie. Quite nice. Mm. Commercial laundry. How are we doing, girls? All right, Pat. It's like a privatised laundry. I love it. Commercial and domestic. So, can you? What do, are you doing? do people drop their laundry off to you, or yeah. do, do you do like or, like collections? You do a collection service yeah. and a delivery service. Who are you? Who are you? Where are you from? Me. Oh, I'm from um, Leeds. Are oh, you from Leeds? Yeah. What is it you're doing then? What is it I'm doing? Yeah, what you're doing? You're I'm, not... What I'm doing is I'm just I'm, I'm inspecting certain buildings today. All oh, right. Yeah. So. That's not under inspection, or what? I, I could do if you want. No, it's all right. We don't need an inspection. Do you want me to inspect it? No. So <laughs> I'm going to inspect it now. <laughs> right. So I'm going to inspect it now. So what have we got? We've got commercial. We've got commercial laundry limited. Yeah. Are you guys just working or? Yeah, we live here. You live here? Yeah. So I don't. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm I'm looking for four certain well, I'm looking Obviously, I've got company location, I've got pass or fail, so I'm looking for f four key um, things what stand out to me. So I'm looking for cleanliness, I'm looking, I'm looking for site safety and site security, and I'm looking for attitude. Oh, oh I, right, well, I'm all free so you can pass it. <laughs> so, so far, so good for the attitude assessment. You've definitely passed that. So just be, I mean, if anyone, if anyone else comes and has a go at me, I won't count that because you two have been so nice. So I'm, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a 10 out of 10 for attitude. So if, if Joe Blog comes along and ruins it, it, it's still, it's still 10 out of 10. So you don't have to worry about it. What, what is it? Are you pressing all these are you? What's this machine do? It's like a big iron. It's like one big iron. That's amazing. I bet these things aren't cheap, have I? Right, cleanliness. I'm going to be honest with you. I've created this floor by ourselves. I am going to give you a 10. Quality. Seriously. We take good care of our unit, you know. It's, it's, I mean, it's clean and tidy, the floor, the mats, everything. Yeah. There's nothing out of place, everything's got its own little home. There you go. Yeah, yeah, she's doing a good job. Right, so site security, what do you what do you think to site security? They've got me, so they don't need anything else. I'm gonna say it's def it's definitely a pass because you'll sort anyone out. Any anyone who who's, who's here for any nefarious purposes. You, you two will just jump on them, won't you? Yeah. You two will just jump on them. Yeah. I don't know about you, she will, I will. <laughs> Do you know what? It's like security and safety, you get a 10 out of 10. Portly have got two rottweilers. Check out buildings. Who's your boss? Are you, are you the boss? Are you in charge? You've, you've, you've passed with flying colours, look at this. Cleanliness. Are you what? Cleanliness. Site safety and site security, attitude, you've got a 10 out of 10 on all four. Boss failed. Boss. Boss has failed. You've got a big P, a big pass. What I do is, I'm, I'm, I'm an ordinary member at public. Right. And I go out conducting social experiments. So, Everybody like. Everybody here knows us. Like yesterday, <laughs> I were down. Everyone with, knows me. There's like a little building site down there. Yeah. And it was crazy, but no visits. No hard hats for driving uninsured vehicles on Rich road. Next, if I was too long. But they didn't, they didn't have uh, 
they didn't have number plates on the vehicles, the flashing beacons were off. The guy thought, well, from health and safety, I said, I'm doing a health and safety inspection. And then he said, who would you work for? I said, no, you're under a misapprehension. I don't work for anybody. I'm a member of the public conducting a health and safety inspection. And is that legal? You filming us in here? Yeah, of course it is, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm in a public place. Oh, I know. I think we rent all the way out to there. So could you just go and stand off of that line? You don't want to. You don't want to fail, do you? Come on. You've done so well. Um, no, I am gonna. I am gonna go somewhere else now. But yeah, basically because there is no restrictions, there obviously there's an implied right of access. So it's, it's technically. I know it's private property. What you're saying, but technically it's classed really as, a, as a public place. But. If your door were locked, if your door were locked, obviously this is here, I wouldn't have a, a legal right just to come in because I'd have to jump, I'd have to jump over You'd that. Yeah? You'd have to get past us, You'd have to get past us, So this is restricting my access. <laughs> yeah. Your door would restrict my access. I mean, if you, if you simply don't want to engage with me, just put your shutter down. But you guys are passed with flying colours. Oh, <laughs> Do we get a certificate? No. Do you? I like sweatshirt. Oh, they got a merchandise. I can give you a key ring. His head looks bollocks. <laughs> would you like a key ring? I would, yeah. I, I would. Right. So what it is, there's a group of us. Um, if it, do you know what auditors are? People who go around yeah. filming police and filming right. private businesses. Oh, yeah, yeah. Have you heard of a guy called DJ Audits? No. Right, I'm going to give you his key ring. We're not going to turn up on YouTube, are we? I'm going to give you his key ring. <laughs> Type that into YouTube, go check him out. Right? Is he Ma a dick or not? No, no, he's really good. Oh, okay. He's really good. Um, <laughs> he's got nearly 200,000 followers. Subscribers. Oh, maybe I can get some more followers then. And uh, <laughs> my, my key rings are on order, they've not come yet. But. Are you going to put back a key as well then if you're running a key? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I made a key ring. Of course I would. Of course I will. Yeah. I mean, if you, I could give you one now if you want, I'll come back with key ring later. <laughs> it's up to you. Oh, Lauren, you asked for that. I need definitely asked for that. You walked like, into that one, didn't you? Did, yeah. So listen, I've got three key rings. I've got to give one to Boss. No, you don't. You don't have to. I have got to give one to Boss. And you have to give one to Boss. Would you like one? Thank you. Very much. Okay. Oh, I'm so proud. They can fight over it. <laughs> they can fight over it. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what, right? So when you do Unit 6... Key rings... <laughs> key, <laughs> key rings is a big thing at the minute because when people recognise who we are, are you an auditor? Yeah, oh, which one are you? Are you this person? Oh, yeah, right. So you know who I am. Obviously, you watch me have a key ring. It's just give it... It's, it's somewhat small, but it's something we give back to the, the audience. And they appreciate it. I appreciate it, pal. Thank you very so, much. So, mine are red and white with Audit in Yorkshire written down the sides of them in black writing. And when they come, I'm going to come back and I'm going to give all of you a key. We're going to hold you to that. Yeah. We're going to hold you to that. Uh, you guys have... Made your day. Made me day. Yeah. And it's not, <laughs> it's not even started yet. <laughs> it's not even started. But you see this... This is the way to deal with people. Just yeah. be nice. Yeah. yeah, we've got cameras. You don't know who we are. But What's your name? Kev. Kev? But rather than <laughs> say, I'm ringing police, just, just, just be nice, talk to us, engage, yeah. see what we're doing. Absolutely. And if you're nice, we'll tell you. If oh you're a sausage, God. we'll wind you up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, girls. I bet you weren't yeah, really ex expecting expect miss this morning, were you? Oh, I know. Oh, I bet you were uh, expecting to meet us, huh? Uh, <laughs> definitely not. Take care. Thank you. See you later. Don't work too hard. What? <laughs> what a lovely bunch of people. Oh, oh, that's great. Only the second business I've visited where I've done this pass or fail chart. And they've scored 10, 10, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, and 10 out of 10. And passed. Absolutely fantastic. So what I'm going to do is, because these are just little tiny units, guys, I'm going to... Uh, I didn't realise <coughs> how small they were. They're only, obviously, very, very small businesses. And... Uh, 
I'll just leave them guys to it. So what I am going to do is I'm going to move on to the next location, which is going to be... <sighs> not sure yet. There is a chocolate factory down here, I think, or a chocolate manufacturers, who I'll be visiting. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll pick it back up in a bit. But for now, guys, I'm going to end this one off on a good note. And I, uh, I promise you girls, if you're watching this video, I will come back and I'll give each and every one of you a key ring. And it'll probably be next week. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, smash that like button. Told you all I'm a really nice guy deep down. Drop us a comment down below. Let us know what you think of the uh, stupid chart idea. And uh, subscribe. More and most importantly, subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one, guys. Bye for now. Yeah. Yeah.